In 2019, which wasn't that long ago, USA Today came out with an article listing the fastest shrinking cities in the country. Danville was listed as the nation's fifth fastest shrinking city. Danville is about a two hour drive south of Chicago and a one and a half hour drive west of Indianapolis. Danville might be the most economically depressed city that nobody has ever heard about. Just like many Midwestern cities, jobs have continued to leave the area over time with no new employers setting up shop in town to replace the jobs that have left. As the jobs leave, so do the people. It's that simple. However, Danville's situation is different from many other small Midwestern cities, and in this video, I'll show you why. Well, let's get to it. Shall we? I do start the video west of Danville and will be inside the city limits in no time. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep track of the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you or if you think that I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed by selecting the gear icon if you're watching on PC or by selecting the three dotted menu if you're watching on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, as if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. You also might want to check out some of the playlists that are featured on my channel. Other places like Danville can be found in my Illinois playlist and in my USA Small Cities playlist. And now we are within the Danville city limits. I'll go ahead and begin with some of the easier realities to soak in about the area before moving on to the rough realities. The truth about Danville is that it is located within the state of Illinois. Illinois has the nation's second highest property taxes in the country only to New Jersey, making it extremely unattractive for companies to set up shop in town. Unlike New Jersey, the state of Illinois is surrounded by states that are way more business friendly. In Danville's case, the Indiana state line is five miles or so east of downtown. Nonetheless, Danville is just like every other Midwestern city that has seen its manufacturing jobs disappear. Since Danville is in Illinois, however, companies would rather set up shop in towns of other nearby states when they're looking to expand. With that said, it's always easier to blame your problems on someone else. Danville has a lot of issues within its own city limits that have little to do with the fault of the state of Illinois. The crime rates in Danville are out of this world. Quite sad, actually. Danville has a violent crime rate of 1,800 for every 100,000 residents. To put that in more perspective, Danville residents have a 1 in 53 chance of being the victim of a violent crime. Drug usage in Danville is also very high. You can say that drugs are everywhere, and sure, they are. Especially in smaller Midwestern cities, that are isolated from the larger metro areas. The drug problem in Danville, however, is a lot worse than most places. Vermilion County, which is the county that Danville is in, has been reported to have the highest rate of meth lab seizures in the state of Illinois. In Danville, the drugs and crime go hand in hand. It's not very often that you have multiple gangs within a city of a town that has only 30,000 people. From the end of 2013 to the beginning of 2020, there have been 56 homicides within the city, and 43 of those were gun-related. Related. There have been a total of 238 people shot within that time frame, and for a city of 30,000 people, that's a crazy high number. Half of those shootings are believed to be linked to the gang-related activities, and with that in mind, just thinking about how this town is trying to bring in a casino just seems like a horrible idea. A little bit ago, you were able to see the Vermilion County Courthouse at the intersection of Vermilion and Maine. There were some nicer looking buildings around the courthouse, but only a block past that and you start to see the vacant properties where buildings once stood. You also start to see more empty buildings than you see occupied buildings. 
Ahead, you can see a grain elevator operation called Bunge Milling. The top employer in town is Vermilion County Public Schools, followed by Veterans Affairs Ileana Healthcare System, the McLean Midwest Company, OSF Healthcare Sacred Heart Medical Center, and topping out the top five is Blue Cross Blue Shield. In 2019, which wasn't that long ago, USA Today came out with an article listing the fastest shrinking cities in the country. Danville was listed as the nation's fifth fastest shrinking city. Also on the list was fellow Illinois city Decatur. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that one out. Since 2010, it's been estimated that Danville has lost 7.7% of its population. The city's population peaked at 42,000 in 1970, and today it's home to 30,000. That's a loss of 12,000 people, or about 30% of the city's peak population. Given the property taxes of Illinois and the city's crime and drug problems, it's tough to see that changing anytime soon. This is Danville High School, home of the Vikings. Niche.com ranks the public school system here as a C, which is right around average. The median household income in Danville is $36,000 per year, according to the official U.S. Census data, which is about half the national average of $63,000. 30% of Danville residents live in poverty, 16% of adults 25 and older have a bachelor's degree or higher, and 86% of adults have a high school diploma. Both of those numbers are very low, and that's another stat that employers look at when deciding where they want to expand. The lack of an educated workforce, along with the crime problem and the high Illinois taxes, makes it darn near impossible for this town to turn things around economically. With a poor economy comes affordable housing, however, and the median value of owner-occupied housing is only $67,000. Sometimes with these struggling cities in the Midwest, you'll find misleading stats, such as the city losing population but the county that it's in is actually growing in population. That's not the case with Danville. Vermilion County saw a peak population of 97,000 in 1970, and today it's home to only 78,000. That's a loss of 19,000 residents, or 20% of the county's peak population. The county as a whole has a median household income of $45,000 per year, and the poverty rate is 20%.
Something that's actually pretty sad is that there's a large percentage of people that live in towns like Danville all across the country that have hardly ever stepped foot outside of their own town. For me, that's just extremely hard to think about or imagine that being the case with me. And as I've moved around my entire life, I've lived in five different states. I have lived in small towns like Danville before, and I have talked to many people that have hardly ever stepped foot outside of their own town. That's a real thing. Here is St. James United Methodist Church, which is a pretty cool looking church. Now I'm heading towards the north side of Danville, which appears to be the nicer part of the city. As we continue to head north, you'll see less and less abandonment. In this part of town, Danville looks to be like a normal Midwestern city. You'd be absolutely foolish, however, to think that after watching this video as now you know the realities of the town. Hopefully the state of Illinois can wake up and realize what their tax policies are doing to the economics of their smaller rural cities, and also hopefully, the crime and drug problems here can begin to slowly fade away over time. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen to you if you live in this part of the city, but that doesn't mean that the issues that Danville faces don't exist. Now we're in the city's retail corridor. This is the Village Mall, which appears to be in the same shape as almost every other indoor shopping mall that's located in a Midwestern rural city of this size.
Now I'm going to head through the nicer part of the city. Right next to this neighborhood is Lake Vermilion, which is a reservoir that was built off of the North Fork of the Vermilion River. More positive mentions about Danville as it actually has an impressive list of notable actors from the area. Actors Gene Hackman, Dick Van Dyke, and Jerry Van Dyke are all from Danville. In one of my recent videos, my Galesburg, Illinois video to be exact, I had a local get mad at me for not mentioning the local hospital and library. Well, here you go. I'll mention your hospital, Danville. This is the OSF Healthcare Facility, which is among the top five employers in Danville. Even though just about every city of this size has a hospital, there you go, there's your mention. As I leave Danville, I will mention that the last time that I drove through a crime-ridden small town city in the middle of nowhere and made a video out of it, I unintentionally made many locals mad. After having this channel for a while now and making 100 or so videos, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens again for this video. That particular video was one of Mount Vernon, Illinois, which also has an absurd violent crime rate for being a small rural town. The point of these videos is to not make people mad or to have an agenda. I say that knowing that many of you will still comment and 
say that I do have an agenda, which in that point, there's just nothing that I can do about that. You're gonna say what you're gonna say. I get asked sometimes, what's the point of making this video? If you're wanting to ask that question about this video in particular, this is my answer. My channel is all about exploring every city and town in America that is of decent size, and in doing so, I'm going to come across cities and towns that aren't doing so well to put it nicely. I tell the truth about all of the places that I go. I would be lying, and at the least, I would be sugarcoating things if I said that Danville had a bright future. That doesn't mean that I'm rooting for Danville or any other place to fail. Will Danville ever be able to turn things around? I think in order for that to be a possibility, it's going to take a major overhaul at the state government level, which is out of Danville's control. We've seen many cities and towns in the US recover from once having major crime and drug issues, so that aspect of things is definitely possible. The economic outlook, however, doesn't look good. Now let me ask you this, Danville residents, when this video comes around your way, how are you going to respond to this video? Are you going to go on a rash of angry comments in the comment section on a YouTube video and then continue going about your daily lives as you always have? Will you acknowledge that Danville might have some of the biggest problems out of any city in your whole state of Illinois? There is nothing wrong at all with calling Danville home, and if you have generations of your family that are from here, you should have hometown pride. But lashing out in the comment section of a YouTube video won't get you anywhere and in my opinion will only show your true selves. That's just something to think about if you were deciding on whether or not you wanted to start firing away in the comment section below. Well that's about it for this video, if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. And if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out some of the playlists that are featured on my channel. Other places like Danville are included in my USA Small Cities playlist and in my Illinois playlist. You can also follow me on social media if you can't get enough of me on YouTube. Those links are attached to my channel homepage. We'll see you next time. Peace!